Hello, my lovelies. Did you in here? Happy Friday. Well, I managed to get my face washed and I got my hair. I put two little side braids and then I twisted them together and then I put another rubber ponytail, but not pulling kind. Told them secure. Anyway, I thought I would come on and show you my accomplishment of two evenings ago. So that would be Wednesday. Yeah, because today's Friday and I did not work on this at all last night. I just, ugh. I'm still miserable, but I feel a little bit better since I had a cup of coffee. We're not even going to talk about that. Not. So I am working on the Muppet Shawl. And usually what I do is I weave in my ends every five to six ends. And then I go again, weave in five to six ends. I did not do that on clues three and four. So when I went to put the two together, which I got to find this now. Okay, that's not it. Where is it? This thing is so interesting let me tell you ah oh my tissue in case i sneeze okay this is uh, okay that's three and four so this is somewhere here we have it oh here it is okay so that's what we ended with okay it's it's an interesting construction putting it together so we have this one is uh, this one is three and four okay so this is clues three and four on this side that I'm swinging around here at you and this is these whatever this piece this piece <coughs> 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 Oh, excuse me, is clues, are clues one and two. So, you put them together, starting with this. I'm trying to get it so that you can actually see it. I wish I could turn this around again. But, okay, so you start here. And it goes all the way across to here. See that? So from here, you're knitting here, all the way across to here. I might be able to show you the other side once I get it started. So it makes a little more sense to y'all. But anyway, um, there is quite a bit. Oh, wait a minute. Is that? Yes, that's. Yes, because this was the end. Because this was the end of it. So, uh, and then you graphed it. You, I Kitchener stitched it together because I enjoy the Kitchener stitch. And I had to monkey around with it a little bit. Just turn it around. But anyway, so I got that done. Finally. Well, I shouldn't say finally because it really only took me three full evenings. Which is two hours each evening. Except for the first evening. That was only like a half an hour. Maybe 45 minutes. So there's four and three quarters hours of knitting involved in the joining of them. Two pieces together. Anyway, I've told myself. I counted up all the ends that I have to weave in. And as you can see, there are a bajillion here. Because I was not a good girl and um, tedious about, or fasti fastidious? Fastidious, that's what I've been told. I'm a fastidious knitter. Um, by one of the shops here in Whatcom County. She calls me a fastidious knitter. So cute. I love it. It's not a diss at all. It's actually quite the compliment. Anyhow, um. I was not the fastidious knitter that I usually am. So I told myself I have to have every one of these ends woven in. And there are 
over 40 of them before I move on to the next portion of putting this behemoth together. It's going to be gorgeous. So what we do is we take this side here and we're going to join it to... And I say we because all my little personalities are involved in this shawl. So there we go. Um, let's see. My alter egos. So you put it together. It's going to like like that. So and then you just decrease down. But anyway, so I've got to before I can do that, though, I have to get all these ends woven in. I didn't touch it last night because I was still sneezing like crazy and dripping like crazy and I just didn't even want to go there so that brings us to the next subject of this shawl so remember how y'all helped me choose you kept me company while I chose substitute yarns for the yarns that I'm going to run out of well thank you for keeping me company that being said I did decide to just order a whole new collection of the Barbie Girl, uh, the Goat Cowl, K-A-L, Barbie Girl collection. It, it's going to make it so much easier. So, when I run out of this one, if I'm knitting with this color, I have to wait until my collection arrives. I don't know if it's shipped yet, but I did decide what I'm going to do with these minis. Yes, sirree, Bobby, I did. I love this color. This one is called Pure. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Um, I'm going to use them for socks, cuffs, heels, and toes. Maybe there might be. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it of um, making a scrappy pair of socks, too. So, I don't know that I'm going to run out of this one. See, and that was why I was debating whether or not I was going to just buy the collection all over again. See, and I'm not going to substitute. I'm not substituting this one for this one. It's, it's too much of a difference. And this came in the collections. And I have not even touched this one at all. So, that'll go in my stash of minis. And then... This one I was going to sub, which it is really super close. Kelsey, my friend on here, Kelsey, three little ducks, said, that's so close. And it really is. I'm just not going to do it. So, depending on which one I run out of first, I'm at a standstill until my yarn shows up. It's okay. I've got other things that can occupy me, or that will occupy me. One of which is another secret testing it so i'm excited about that i really like this colorway it's so pretty so i'll be getting more of those and we'll see how much is left when i'm done with this other side so anyhow that's what i've got for you on my yarn talk today um i don't think there's anything oh, yes i can't show you show you show you but my first end club installment arrived see what a good girl i am i have not even opened up the outer envelope we have we are not allowed to open this until april 17th when laura and lola have their live unboxing of it so that's fun all right i love you all remember jesus loves you even more than i do i love you a ton Mwah. See you soon. Bye for now.